go our co-main event. Matt, Natalie Madej versus Lauren Foley for the uh, WXC Women's Flyweight Championship. And it's been a while since we've seen ladies get it, uh, get down in the cage, but uh, I'm glad to see them in there. Both girls are game. Um, Madej actually was actually a bodybuilder, lifted weights for 17 years, kind of stumbled into a gym and uh, one of the gym owners said, hey, you kind of look like a fighter. Would you like to fight? So uh, a little bit after that, she joined the uh, Spider Submission Fight Team. She's boasting a 4-1 record. Um, her strength or her striking and her physical strength, but she also claims she has a nice guillotine choke. But if you watch any of the WXC pre-fight interviews, uh, she says she's going for the knockout. And with the rise of uh, mega stars like Ronda Rousey, it's been nice because women, women's MMA has been given a nice spotlight um, via people like Rousey. And uh, WXC has embraced this idea of both men and women showing their abilities as mixed martial artists and two of the best. Uh, but they fully get to show us this uh, shortly. And now, introducing to you her opponent. Please put your hands together for Lauren. Foley. I don't know if you get the memo, but we have a girl fight. Yeah, I was just saying, you know, Ronda Rousey um, has kind of paved the way and kind of sh shown a and the spotlight on women's mixed martial arts and WXC and other promotions that hopped on the bandwagon, so to speak. And it's been nice because we haven't seen his women fight in, in, a, in a few cards, but it's good to yeah. see two of our top fighters, Foley, Madej on the card. Definitely two of the top. Uh, well, we also had a slew of them go pro here recently, so yes, that, that also point. hurt us. Good but point. Yeah, WXC was definitely an originator with uh, with girl fights. We had a lot of women fight, fighting in the WXC even before this was popular anywhere. That's a great point. It's a great point, Harley. Lauren has a solid 12 and 12 wrestler and a, a excuse me, 12 and 2 record. Am I misspeaking? That's a 5 and 2. 5 and 2 is what we have. Excuse me. But always been a mega athlete. I mean, uh, wrestling and played football against the guys in high school. Um, says yeah. she was inspired by the likes of Gina Carano. I uh, wanted this, you know, an exciting sport to participate uh, and. Despite what people think, she says, you know what, I'm going to go for the TKO. I'm going to finish her in the first or second round. Wow, that's pretty That's pretty impressive, especially talking about fighting Natalie today, who's so impressive in her fights as well. Yeah, this, this is going to be a, an awesome fight.
the 115 straw white champion. Stop the dive, one more train here, and resilient. Put your hands together. No hesitation for Foley. She doesn't look intimidated at all. Pressuring no. Madej. Absolutely. You know, it looks like uh, Natalie's loading up with that big right hand. Yeah. Pretty telegraphed, though. Yeah, it is loaded, that's for sure. But I know Foley's a really solid wrestler, too. So, I mean. Uh, yeah. But the question is, you know, with the strength of Natalie. <coughs> excuse me. What, what, you know, would uh, Lauren want to take it there? You know, it, it, she does have the crisper boxing. Yeah. You know, it'd be, it's a hard to do this for five rounds, though. You know, I'll start checking those leg kicks right now. I'll start hitting those calves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot of whining for, for Natalie when he, she comes in. She, she puts that uh, almost like a jab yeah. grip out and the right hand cocks back and essentially loads. He's got to work on that bow and arrow movement a little bit. Stalking though, stalking continuously, trying to find a way to get this fight closed in. I would be looking for that shot at some point because she keeps yeah. throwing that almost like a right hook, and that yeah. means the front foot's grounded completely, and a takedown should be. I know that Lauren usually fights at one one fifteen. I do believe. Yeah, and and, and uh, you know Natalie fights one twenty five, one thirty five. So. I know Natalie looks like a strong woman, but uh, I gotta be honest, based on the shots that she's throwing. I think Lauren should trust a little more in the stand-up and, uh, you know, look to put her on her back. She thinks she's really concerned about the power. Yeah, and I, you know, I agree. I think there's nothing wrong with, 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 with going for a takedown, at least to, to, to pretty much send a message saying, hey. I, I think that uh, Lauren should uh, time that big looping punch nice. and throw a nice knee down the middle to see where it's at, you know. With Lauren's yeah. wrestling, I don't see Natalie really taking her down. That's just my opinion on that one. Yeah. Yeah, you know, good, you know, good footwork by uh, Foley. She's moving, giving uh, Madej difficult angles. She hadn't been able to put a glove on her consequently. Yeah, she has landed, but not nothing, uh, nothing devastating at this point. I'm surprised Danny hasn't told uh, Natalie to close those fists. You know, a couple times it looked like a couple slaps coming in. Yeah, you know, they need to close those hands a little bit. See a red mark on Lauren's face, but uh, nothing big. Hard one to score. Um, nobody landed a whole lot. I'm gonna go with Foley. I mean, Foley seemed more active, landed a lot more leg kicks. I think she landed the better shot. I think she had more volume. Uh, I'm not sure. That's a close round. Yeah, that's, a, that's a very difficult one to score. I wonder if that feeling out process has ended. I, you know, it's five rounds, so I, I totally get why they're not going all out at this point, but uh, it's a lot of feeling out that first round. 
You can see the power is a little. Boy, you keep doing that. See? Yeah, it's just fingers coming out that the. Uh, I understand. You know, he, she's throwing her hand. She's opening her hand when she's throwing the punches. Yeah, and, and she's doing that Good grab. Call, Drew. She's doing like a grab thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, obviously, it's not intentional, but she's doing a, a, like a grabbing motion almost when she's putting her hand out, which makes this a, a likely problem. This this is something I don't know how they're gonna fix this in MMA because there's just no way to fix yeah. it. A lot of people have complained about that. Yeah. And you, you see that a lot with like traditional martial artists. You know, a lot, a lot of stuff comes with like open hand. You know, and they, they, they're supposed to, their stance is open hand. They don't get their hands closed all the way, you know? Yeah. I'm telling you, if Lauren waited for one of those big ass punch, big bike punches to come and throw that body kick, uh. Yeah. She got. I mean, yeah, she's moving out, but I, I think she's giving Madej a little bit too much respect. I mean, those things are telegraphed; they're not really set up. I mean, but they're hard, though. That's you true. I mean? If you if you watched her fight in the past, she 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 knocks people out. And again, we got to remember, general weight class is 115 for Lauren and and 125, 135 for Natalie. So there is a power advantage as well. And the question is, you know. How, how, how many of those big bobs can Natalie throw without before wearing herself out, you know? But she well, she's like been powerlifting for 17 shape, yeah. years. She looks in phenomenal shape. Yeah, I mean. she's, not, she's not breathing much. But you know what they say, you take a powerlifter and let, let him do CrossFit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, right. Oh, there's that take that we've been talking about. Yeah, thank you. I'm surprised she hasn't tried it before. Especially, Especially with those big, big as big hard as, yeah. yeah. Especially as hard as, as Natalie's coming at her. She's got her mounted. And very, back, very uh, smart job by Lauren. She's got to come out the Natalie back. Natalie is strong, man. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's a, she's a beast, that's for sure, but she's in trouble here. Yeah, she is. Lawrence put those hooks in and flatten her out. Yep, yep, there we go. And that shows you what happens when you strike before you, you know, you try to lock in a rear naked choke. Yeah. Everybody's so gung ho about locking it in. Yep. You gotta soften them up first. Natalie's doing a good job of controlling both of uh, Lauren's wrists right now. She's just holding on, man, for dear life. Yeah. Good shot. Nice shot from Foley. Wow. Whoa. Excellent finish to the round. Excellent finish to the round for Foley. Yeah. I, I really think uh, Lauren, we know exactly what Lauren's about to do coming out in this uh, third round. Take her down and do yeah. the same thing? Yeah. Well, especially let let Natalie get really over over anxious and close the gap that hard, and give the takedown away. Now though, she's gonna be expecting it. Foley's plan potentially could have been to, you know, kind of just let Natalie wear herself out a bit for the first round and a half. Yeah. And then take it to the ground. Because, you know, both you guys can attest to, you, you got a person, maybe you're much more skilled than them, but if they're just an absolute freak, that first, you know, minute two. Yeah. Drag them out deep yeah, waters. Yeah. All right, we'll see what the game plans end up being now. Lawrence got to be careful though because still a lot of power to watch out for.
Lauren's got double unders. Yeah. Heavier and, and slightly taller opponent. Nice knees and the, and the yeah. thighs, those are nice. Yeah, very very like nice. Those. And he, she hit right with a point too. That's an art in, in and of itself, is those, making sure you're landing yeah, those with don't that. feel good. Yeah. See, when somebody has you in a headlock right, they gotta pop it off at the elbow. Yeah. Everybody tries, you know, back doing it, but. I think Lauren should drop to that double and fuck, put it on her back. I agree with you 100%. Because up here, you know, this is what Natalie's strong at. She's strong upper body, you know? Yeah, she is. Foot stomp, maybe? She's real heavy on those feet. Yeah. Those knees are nice. Yeah, she's working those knees very nicely in the clinch. Danny McIntyre calling for a little more action. Yep, break up the action. I, I, I do agree with that. <laughs> Got to keep your hands up, though. Nice, nice. takedown. You know, that takedown was there against the fence on the other side, too. I was going to say she should try a, a hip throw. This is a huge yeah, arm trouble. Arm blocks arm right, arm right, arm right there. Yeah, that's on. There it is. That's it. Wow. Laura Very Bowen impressive is a win. Women's 125 champion. Beautiful fight. Great job by both ladies, man. They left it all out there. Beautiful. It's a great win. That's a great win. Yeah. 